Hey guys and dolls, welcome back to Danimal Sound. This is Danny Lee. And in this segment, I'm going to talk briefly about how to create a timeline selection marker as opposed to just a regular memory location. And what those are is up on the timeline here, we have our, our marker indicator. And that's these guys that I've put in place for this client mix here. Intro, intro, solo, verse, pre-chorus, chorus, etc. And obviously those just, you know, denote the uh, different sections of the song so you can get to them quickly. Also on the back end, I've started doing something where I just label the out, which is the absolute end of the song. That includes, you know, any tails from a reverb or a delay. So we're in the safe zone, so to speak. And typically, what some people might do who don't know about the timeline selection option is they might come back here, they might have to highlight this, and then make sure everything is within that time frame before they bounce to disc or, you know, do a fullback. And that can get annoying and inconsistent as far as what you're actually producing for a file. So what you can do is, to make this a cheat, so to speak, huge time saver, is to make a timeline selection marker. Now what we're going to do is, we're going to go over here, we're going to hit period one period on your numpad, which will bring you immediately to this intro guy. And just so you know how that works real quick, when you do these in order in a systematic fashion, if you hit Command-5 on the numpad on a Mac, that'll bring you to the timeline menu here for memory locations. And basically, if you do them in order from left to right, you'll be able to just bounce through the song section by section, go through it numerically. And there's my out marker. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make the timeline selection marker. I'm going to go back to my intro marker. So hit period zero. I'm sorry, period one period. That'll bring my cursor back here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit my shift key and select all the way out to here to hit the out marker. Just zoom in, make sure that's nice and tight where I want it. So I just got to back this guy up a little bit, grab the blue arrow. And that's precisely where I want it to be. And I know I've done the homework. That's exactly, not exactly, but that gives me enough buffer after my last guitar delay in this case is fully dead and there's no signal anywhere. So, oops, just lost my spot there with the mouse. Let's get back here. So to make the timeline selection marker, once I've got that lined up how I want, and yes, I know I'm being very technical with this, zoom out just so I can see some more of it. I'm going to hit the enter key on the numpad again. That brings up new memory location. This is going to be memory location number 13. I'm going to rename it as mix print. Then I'm going to select timeline properties. I don't need this to be a visual marker that I can toggle to instantaneously. I just want it to be a selection. So I'm going to hit selection. And then for bars, beats for reference, I want absolute because it's going to be regardless of what the uh, bars and beats will be. It's basically down to minutes and seconds, which is what this can um, work with. I don't need to put any comments in here necessarily, so I'm just going to leave it at that. So now I'm just going to go ahead and click OK. Now I've got mix print. You won't see it out on the timeline. It's just kind of there. If I select out of this and I go back to just, you know, anywhere in the song, you know, pre-chorus, chorus, whatever, just say, for instance, now I'm ready to bounce this out to my client for mix review or what have you. I can simply call up either uh, Command-5 on the numpad to bring up the mix print section here. And when I toggle that, you'll see it highlights everything in there. So I can just go ahead and hit my, uh, my bounce to disk or however you're getting the file rendered. And it shows it in this little column right here. This is the timeline selection. You'll see it's a different type of marker there. Or, as I said before, the shortcut to this, for those other fellow nerds out there, is again, let's start from any arbitrary part in the song. And if you hit period, 13 period, which is just because that's where it is in my, my uh, memory locations list, it'll automatically highlight that specific area. You're good to go. So again, 
period 13 period this is where it's assigned again and it shows just that section and this includes the entire song and all the safe parts so to speak and you're ready to bounce the disc or you know fold back or however you're printing the song so uh, that's that and I hope that's helped you guys out in a at least a small way as far as printing consistent mixes for you yourself your clients whomever if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to visit the YouTube channel where this is posted, or you can email me at me at dannylee.co, or just generally visit my website, which is dannylee.co, which is D-A-N-N-Y-L-E-E dot C-O. Thanks again for watching, guys, and we'll speak to you soon. Cheers.